guys, Warm here again, and today I wanted to make a video about how you can make credits in World of Tanks. I know a lot of you players might be new players or some veterans, so hopefully you'll learn something new here um, that can help you uh, get some credits, because credits is a very valuable resource. Use it to buy tanks, use it to buy equipment, use it to buy consumables, use it to buy ammunition, it's pretty much... Um, it's the base currency in this game so let's get it started so obviously the first tip is to buy equipment and tanks and consumables when it's on sale so wargaming typically likes to do sales on consumables so you can get it for 50 percent off so any small repair kit small first aid kit small or manual fire extinguishers will be um 1,000, uh, 1,500 credits instead of, uh, the typical 3,000. And then the premium will be 10,000 credits instead of, um, 20,000. So that's my first tip. So they also do top of the tree. So you can get 30% off from tier 6 all the way up to tier 10. Right? So tier 6. 30% off all the way to tier 10 and 50% off from tier 1 through tier 5. So that's a great way to um, save money on buying a tier 10. And you can see that I'm also saving up to purchase some tier 10s. The Object 277, 705A, uh, let's see, E50M. So that's a great way to be opportunistic on purchasing tanks that's probably the most credit intensive thing you'll do in this game right you're instead of spending 6 million 6.1 million you're spending 4.2 which is like nearly a 2 million credit saving that's a great tip that, um, to save some credits in this game the second tip I have is join a clan so when you join a clan right um, your clan has this financial unit that can create these um, credit boosters which the clan can use and right now we have some level 5 payments that can give you 15% bonuses on um, random battles right and so um, this can be stacked upon other things like your typical um, your typical re reserves which I have 45, 50% bonuses to credits. So these reserves, when you can get for joining a clan, is actually pretty useful. And you don't have to be competitive or anything like that. Um, you can just join any clan. Uh, there are a lot of clans out there that are just social clans where people just kind of come hang out, just play casually, um, not competitively. And um, oftentimes um, they will use these uh, boosters during peak hours like you know 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on a typical weekday or weekend right uh, or you can join our clan uh, Wahoo we're recruiting right now we only have four four members so we'll pretty much accept everybody so um, feel free to join our clan as well the next tip I have is create a platoon so Creating a platoon will give you a bonus 15% to experience as well as 15% um, well because I have a premium account I'll get 15% um, additional credits. So um, you can get a, pretty much a passive bonus for playing in a platoon. And now that Wargaming has a new feature where you can actually find players, right? Um, you can, there's no reason to not you know participate in a in a platoon as much as possible so that's my second tip okay so the next tip I have is to sell your decals and emblems and inscriptions so if you go here I go to my decals I can start selling these decals so he's here I can see I could sell this for 10,000 credits and so on. So I'm gonna take some time and 
sell some of these decals and we'll see how much I end up with. All right, so now look at that. I went from 2 million credits to 7 million credits just from selling emblems. You can also do the same with these um, inscriptions as well. So let's go to here. Let's see if we have any inscriptions. I don't want to keep that one. So like you can just go through here and see which ones you want and which ones you don't want. So like this, I can just sell 10 million or 10,000 credits. Obviously, like, pick and choose which ones you want to sell. Like, you don't have to sell everything. Um, but yeah, sell these things. Um, sell things you're not going to use, right? Um, and also, another reason why you should join a clan is because when you take a look at here, my objectives, like my personal objectives was literally just playing the game. I get inscriptions. See? Like I get these emblems. And sometimes I can't sell them, sometimes I can. So it literally, it pays to, um, it pays to, to, to join a clan. It's passive. Um, and again, you don't have to join a clan that is, um, you know, competitive. You can just join a social clan. So that's one uh, really great way to get credits. Um, another great way to get credits is to take a look at your missions, right? These missions up here, look at this. Be among top 10 um, on experience, right? And get 15 penetrations. And then you can get, um, you know, some inscriptions, which you can sell. <laughs> um, additionally, you can play Steel Hunter. Like there's a lot of missions here. Just be among top 10 in solo um, or top five in platoons, and you get forty thousand credits. Right? If you don't enjoy playing that game mode, you can find other things to do. Right? You can also play the top of the tree, be among top ten, and then you can get these um, premium, um, premium consumables, and then just sell them. That's thirty thousand credits right there, and you also get a crew booster. So that's a great way to um, make credits is to look at these missions because a lot of times they're pretty easy and they're pretty lucrative. You can get some free free weekend, uh, literally kill five tanks and then you can get some consumables here, right? Get 1500 spotting and you get um, a decal, which you can sell for credits. So a great way is to look at these missions, see what, see what you have. Um, so let's see, next I have is play profitable tanks, right? You're not gonna make credits if you're playing um, a tier 10 tank and it costs a thousand um, ammo per shot or if you're firing heat, you're spending 4,000 credits, right? Yeah. And plus like, it's very expensive to, to uh, run a tier 10 or a tier nine rather. Actually, the the most profitable standard tanks are tier fives and tier sixes, <laughs> and so you know, just take a look at my Sherman. Look at this; it's 166 credits per shot for high explosive, and I'm doing, you know, probably like 100 damage to like max if I if I penetrate any tank. Right? That's a great way to to make credits is to play tanks that are profitable. Um, like if you're trying to grind credits, don't play tier 9, tier 10, and even tier 8 um, standard tanks. We'll get into premium tanks later on. I, I wanted to keep the first half on things that you can do free to play. You don't have to pay any money. You can just play your game as is. Um, the next thing is don't fire as much premium ammo or fire premium ammo if you're not in certain situations, you need to fire premium ammo. So, for example, like my CS uh, 53, I just purchased this. So it's still stock. Right? I haven't. I've only upgraded the engine. Um, if you take a look at this ammo, right? I have 168 penetration, right, on my standard ammo, but it only costs 345, right? In most situations, you should be firing the armor piercing because it's 
literally, um, what is this? 40 times more. What the hell did you just say? Yeah, 10 times more expensive to run heat ammunition, right? I might as well fire this ammunition if I'm shooting at tanks I can pet. However, on the flip side, if I'm fighting against heavily armored tanks, right? And I need, like, 168 pen is not enough. You should fire the the premium ammo because you're not gonna get any experience or credits because you're not getting any damage if you're bouncing the whole the whole time, right? I don't know why it's like this. Then it's worth it to fire the higher pen gun, as well as you get more experience and more credits if you're on the winning side. So you also have to keep in mind that if you if what you're firing will help you win the game or help you do more damage to ultimately win the game, it's worth it to fire the premium ammunition in certain situations. But lean towards firing standard ammunition if you can is the point. So that's another thing. Don't fire premium if you don't have to. Fire premium if you need to. Um, the next thing, um, sell things in your depot. Right, look at this. I have a bunch of these modules that I'm not using in ammo. Right? I don't I don't have a boogie anymore. I sold this. Right? Sell these. Right? That's another three hundred thousand credits. Right? That's a great way to um you know, some some people have a lot of things in their depot because they have a lot of tanks. You know. You know, once a month or once every few weeks, you know, just check your check your depot, see if you can sell anything. Okay, the next part of this video I'm going to talk about is some is some of the most I think worth purchasing aspects of the game. If you're going if you're going to spend any spend some money on this game, this is I think the most effective way to spend your money. First is buy premium premium time. Right. So this actually shows you the amount of gold purchase. But let me go to the World of Tanks premium shop. So, premium account, right? If you're going to play on the weekends only, it's less than $4. So literally a cup of coffee, right? In order to get three days of premium, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can get a bonus of 50% Comet experience, free experience and credits, right? So you're essentially increasing your effectiveness when you play by 50%. So essentially you have to play your stock tanks, your stock grinds, 50% less. You have to play um, painful tanks, 50% less, right? You can play your tanks that you like um, and get 50% more out of those games, right? And so this is a, a what probably the most efficient way you can spend money in this game is buying premium time right you also get additional bonus for the platoon right i think it's it's less yeah they only get 10 percent, so you get it at bonus five percent um you also get a three times multiplier on victorious um battles so at the end of your battle on a win you can choose to apply a three times bonus multiplier on a win that time uh, on the win that game and you can do this five times so this this is a great way to rank up or move up stock grinds or tanks that you don't like playing right you can also exclude maps which is really great like if you're in a heavy tank and you don't want to play Prokhorovka because every time you play that you can't there's no RD cover and you're getting farmed by RD and you're not having good games in those maps you can exclude maps to fit your playstyle or to fit your tanks that you're playing, right? That's another great way to um, improve your results in that game because you'll probably have a better game in a city map if you're in a heavy tank, for example, right? So, and then you also get bonus missions. So, let's, let me show you what this is. Um, bonus missions are, on a standard account, you get these missions, right? But in, with the premium, you also get win a battle, 50,000 credits. Every day you can you can get an initial 50,000 credits just by winning a game, right? If you have a 50% win rate, that's two games um, statistically. And then you can also get these other things. You can get 25 bonds after you do the first two missions, right? And bonds you can use to buy new tanks, right? You, 
you can use bonds to buy. You can go to, you can use your bonds to buy premium tier eights, right? You can, once you get 8,000 credits, you can buy, you can buy an Amex M4, which is a really great French heavy tank that has really cheap ammo, right? Um, or if you don't want to buy that, you could buy an IS-6, right? You can, you can buy a guard, you can buy anything here, right? This is a great way to... Um, this is another currency that's really important so that you can buy, potentially, if you save up enough, you can get a tier 8 premium for free, right? So, that's a great way, that's probably the number one most efficient way to use money in this game. The next thing I would recommend is, if you're playing a lot, is to buy this battle pass. Um, the, uh, the additional battle pass, I believe, costs 2,500 gold. Um, which is, how much is that in value, let's see, 2,500 gold is about less than $14, right? It's about, it's about like 12 bucks, maybe 13 bucks or so for that. But you get so much from this, like you get 100,000 credits from day two, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1.1 million, 1, 1. Yeah, like 1. Point, what was that? 1.225 million additional credits. And then you also get a bunch of other things. Like you get you get more credit boosters, right? So this is a, a very efficient, uh, great, great value is what I'm trying to say. If you're gonna if you're gonna spend money, this is what I recommend buying. The next thing that I recommend buying, if you're gonna spend money on the game, is to purchase a tier eight premium tank. A tier eight premium tank, for example, Brigetto, right? It's the most, it's the best credit maker in the game. Are tier eight premiums, and honestly, I would recommend. Let me see. Let me filter on the tier eights that I have. Just so I can. Uh, is this premium? These are elite. Okay, these are my premium tanks. Which tanks would I recommend? Scorpion G. Great tank. Has really good pen for standard ammo. You could run this with only standard, right? And you could make a lot of credits. Great tank. Very great tank. I even have three marks. It's a great tank. Next tank I would recommend SU 130PM. Another great. Tier 8 premium. A little bit more expensive, but you get more alpha 520. But has really great pen. You don't really need to fire heat in this tank. That's a great tank. Brask is also a great tank. It's mobile. The pen is a little bit low, but it's 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 the play style. It's it's like a bat shot. It's like a light tank slash medium tank with auto loader. Great tank. Very fun to play as well. Uh, 50 TP, another really great tank. Look at this. 800 for 440 alpha. 800 credits great tank 2 218 that's like very good standard um that's a great tank i would recommend progetto like probably the most overpowered tier 8 tank because it like when when wargaming fixed the italian mediums they reduced the dpm uh yeah they they got rid of um the ability to mount a uh, gun rammer which effectively reduced the dpm of all these tanks However, because people purchased the Progetto, they decided to increase the DPM from 1800 to 2000. So effectively, it has four equipment slots because you automatically get a gun rammer. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but yes, great, fantastic tank. Um, the Patriot, another really great tank. 255 credits per shot. Albeit only 240 alpha, but this is dirt cheap and 230 pen. That's really that's really good for tier eight. Uh, let's see, lights not so much because lights have poor penetration. Defender obviously, you know, it's a defender. So those are the tanks I would recommend, at least that I have in my garage. Um, tier eight premium, um, and I think you can get the Patriot through. Um, 
through getting the, the bonds uh, in the bond shop. So another really great, probably another great, sorry, another great way if you're gonna spend money to buy a tier eight premium and just buy the buy one of the TDs or if you're if you're a heavy tank player, play buy a heavy, buy the tank that you think you'll enjoy, the play style that you think you'll enjoy, heavily armored, um, like heavies. If you're a heavy tank player, medium tank. If you're a medium tank player, um, TDs. If you are a TD player, right? Or if you're grinding up a line, you want to train you want to train your crew. That's another great way um, to pick one of these tanks. So those are my tips for if you want to make credits in this game. I mean, look at this. I, I started with 2 million credits and I've already have 9 million. I haven't even played, played a battle today, right? I just made 7 million credits by just doing what I just said and not including the, um, the things that I talked about earlier. So recap, buy equipment, tanks, and consumables when they're on discount. Sell your camos, inscriptions, and emblems, right? Join a clan, even if it's just a social clan. You can join our clan, Wahoo. Yeah, great clan. Um, join a platoon, you can get 15% bonus. Um, check your missions. There are a lot of missions that you can get for credits or things that you can indirectly sell for credits. Play profitable tanks. Play tier five, tier six. Those are the target tiers. Uh, don't fire too much premium, but also know when to fire premium. Um, sell your depot, any unused modules, and purchase premium time if you want. And purchase a tier eight tank if you want. Purchase the battle pass if you want. So that sums up my tips for making credits in World of Tanks. So let me know if you guys have any other things that I missed, may have missed, or if you learned something, um, please share below. And if you're thinking about buying a tier eight, let me know as well. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, that's it for today. We're out.